everybody got that added to your table of contents. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's look at the notes for adding linear expressions. Looks like this. Add linear expressions. So this is similar to what we've been doing um, with our simplifying expressions. Simplifying, we've been adding. But here it looks a little bit different. It looks a little bit different because we have one expression and to that we are adding another expression. So it's really not that different than what we've been doing. We could consider this as, let's see, this one up here, uh, there's two different ways to do it. We can arrange the terms in columns and then add the columns. So I could rewrite this as, x minus 10, and then I could line this up underneath it. And to the negative 10, I'm going to add negative 6. And to the x, I'm going to add 3x. And so I can take it and I can add each of these columns. But make sure that you realize that that negative sign goes with that second term. Negative 10 minus 6 is negative 16. Do we all understand why? Can someone explain to me why negative 10 minus 6 is negative 16? Kenzie? Add a line and change the sign, so it would be negative 10 plus negative 6. Can anybody explain it on a number line? Gage? So we'd start at negative 10, and we would go 6 more in the negative direction and land at negative 16. All right, and then here we have 1x, and to that we're going to add 3 more x's. So that is a total of 4 x's. This is not the way that I prefer to do it. Um, this is one way. If you have Miss Hildebrand's projects class, this is the way she likes. So you may see her do it that way. I don't care which way you solve it. I just want you to find a way that makes sense to you. All right. This is the way I prefer to do it. Find the sum of x plus 5. And to that, if it's the sum, we're adding negative 4x minus 2. And then we're going to add 2x minus 1. So we rewrite it as x plus 5 plus negative 4x minus 2 plus 2x minus 1. Then we can just rearrange. Since we're adding, we know that adding is commutative. What does commutative mean? Yes? Um, not the grouping. That's the associative property. What does commutative property mean? We were supposed to have that properties quiz tomorrow. We can change the... Megan? We can change the order of the numbers. As long as we make sure that the sign in front of it goes with it, addition is commutative. We can rearrange and to combine the like terms. So I'm going to take this X right here, and then I'm going to um, subtract 4x from it, and then I'm going to add another 2x to it, plus, this is a positive 5, this is a negative 2, and a negative 1. So, now we can combine those terms. Um, I have an x, and then I have four negative x's. Alright. Do I have any zero pairs? Yeah, one. One. Cross that off and I have negative three x's. To that I'm going to add two more positive x's. Any zero pairs? Two. Cross those off and what are you left with? One, one negative x. And then I have five minus two is three. 3 minus 1 is 2. 
So this simplifies to negative x plus 2. So that simplifies to negative x plus 2. So you can try it either way. You could try it like this where you line them up. Or you can try it like this where you just rearrange and put the like terms together. Okay? Uh, whichever way you think works best for you is what you can do. Um, let's take this. We are just going to cut it out. And you are just going to glue this whole thing on page 35 in your journal. And I have not done the last set of notes that you all did from Google Classroom. Does everyone have those notes glued into your Google Classroom? Oh, in your notebook. That's exactly what it means. All right. So let's look at the skills practice for adding linear expressions. Let's look at the skills practice side for adding linear expressions. All right, so let's look at the first one. So, if you wanted to solve the first one the way the example solved it, you would say 5x plus 7, and you would do x plus 2. And if I added this column, 7 plus 2 is 9, and 5x plus x is 5x plus another x, 6x, 6x. 6x. 6x plus 9 would be your answer. Okay. The way I like to do it is I like to say 5x plus an x plus 7 plus 2. And then 5x plus x is 6x. And 7 plus 2 is 9. Either way you want to solve it, it's exactly the same. Yes, Jemai? <laughs> You can, except for on tomorrow, maybe it's tomorrow now, um, we're going to subtract, and so when this is a subtraction, we're going to have to distribute the subtraction out, and so if you practice doing it like this, it makes that part easier. Um, but you could just say 5x plus an x is 6x, you could do that as well. Just know that when we get to subtracting linear equations, it's going to be different. All right. Um, do you want me to keep doing it both ways, or do you want to just pick one way you want to look at it? Which way? You just want to regroup them together? Okay. So, negative 6x. And is this a positive x or a negative x? Positive. So, plus an x. And then plus 3, and then minus 7. Now I've got to think, I have 6 negative x's and a positive x. So if you're at negative 6 and you move 1 in the positive direction, where are you at? Or 6 negatives. And 
and one positive. Cross off zero pairs. What do you have left? Five negatives. Five negatives. Negative five x. You're at positive three and you move negative seven. Where do you end up? Eric, you're, you're going to end up at positive 4? Oh, no, I'm going to negative 4. So I could think, start at positive 3 and make 7 jumps in the negative direction, you're going to land at negative 4. Or if you can't do that, 3 positives, 7 negatives, cross off 0 pairs, and you have negative 4. So this answer is negative 5x minus 4 is your answer. So is it really that different than what we've been doing? No, it's really not that different than what we've been doing. The subtracting linear equations is going to be different. All right, let's try. I don't see that any of these get that much harder than any of the others. Let's try um, number 9. Negative 9x minus 7x plus 1 plus 8. You're at negative 9 and you move 7 more in the negative direction. Right now. Negative 16x. Positive 1 plus 8. Nice. Plus 9. All right. You feel like you can do that on your own, or do we need to do any more together? No? You can do it on your own? Okay. All right. Um, you are going to be responsible for completing the skills practice side before class tomorrow. Just the skills practice. You do not have to go and do the homework practice as well. Okay. All the problems on this side. Don't skip the word problem. Okay. All right, come see me as you're working if you're having any trouble.